Tracy, I have no reason to tell Elizabeth that I had sex with Carly. Neither do you. And why not, pray tell? We're both going to be exonerated from the food poisoning. There's no reason for you to blackmail me. And there's certainly no reason for you to tell Elizabeth. I may have no reason to tell Elizabeth, but maybe somebody else does. What do you mean somebody else might tell Elizabeth about Carly? There's no one. There can't be. Nobody else even knows about it. Unless you decided to open your big mouth. Oh, you know me, silent as the grave. Actually, I was thinking about Carly. Carly? Yes, Carly. You remember her. Unless there was some other drunken one-night stand you chose to relive. How do we know that Carly isn't darkening Elizabeth's doorstep even as we speak? and burdening her soul. Because you heard her. She doesn't want anyone to know least of all Elizabeth. I sympathize. Carly has never been terribly particular, but jumping into bed with you again. Oof, new low. So we're agreed. Now that it's official that the relish have been tampered with, there's no reason for me to step up and take the blame to protect you. So you'll keep quiet. Why are we even quibbling about this? I have bigger fish to fry, namely getting you out of ELQ. Yeah, so I've heard many, many times. And, and I gotta ask you, just out of curiosity, how the hell do you intend on doing that? I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something? Excuse me, how did you get in here? Your housekeeper let me in. Tall woman. <laughs> Looks like she could grind you into dust. Got that right. I'm sorry to get your name. She is a business associate of mine, which means none of your business, AJ. So? You're the famous A.J. Quartermain. I have to say, I feel like I know you already. I've seen you so much in the news lately. But you're much better looking in person. Thank you, Ms. We have business to discuss, so if you'll excuse us? Yes, well, Tracy and I do have a meeting. Huh. But as she is having some trouble coming up with the money for our little venture, perhaps you'd like to hear about what I'm offering instead. Well, that depends on what the project is. Sir there is no need to involve AJ in matters that don't concern him. I have your money. I, I gotta tell you, your business venture sounds fascinating, whatever it might be. Why don't you tell me all about it? You know what? I'm feeling a little chatty myself. In fact, I think I'm gonna go call our mutual friend, Elizabeth. She and I have so much to catch up on. So I'll do that now, and that will give you an opportunity You know what, actually, I tell you what, that, that won't be necessary. Um, why don't you guys finish your meeting, okay? And we're chatting with Elizabeth. You say you have the money. I'll take it now. No, 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 no. You produce your daughter first. I don't actually have to meet your daughter personally. But she does have to sign the document that my associate gave you. And just in case you misplaced it, I do have another one right here. Let me refresh the terms of our agreement. I pay you the exorbitant amount of money you extorted from me. And in return, your daughter signs this piece of paper, guaranteeing that she will vote with me to oust AJ, my nephew, from ELQ. Clear? Crystal. That covers everything. You can see yourself out. I think I can manage to find my way. Good, because the sooner you leave, the sooner you can come back with that document signed and I can give you your check. I look forward to that. There's not going to be a problem, is there, getting your daughter's cooperation? Oh, don't worry. I know my daughter. She'll be more than happy to help. You know, you must want to take over ELQ pretty badly, seeing how much you're willing to pay for it. I am willing to do whatever is necessary to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Why the hell would somebody send me a picture of my dead brother? Oh, somebody's trying to get a reaction from both of us. Let's see, it worked. Good day, gents. Who's that? That's some um, business associate of Tracy's. What kind of business? Yeah, that's exactly what I'd like to know.
Nan? <laughs> I'm glad to hear your voice, too. And you're going to be a lot happier when you hear my news. I am about to get Franco's daughter's signature on the dotted line. It's as good as done. Her mother is seeing to it even as we speak. <laughs> You're not leaving me, are you? After that? Oh, wow. Is that good? <laughs> Worth putting up with my insane family? Worth everything. I think I need another shower. I want a rain check. Right. Have uh, fun. <laughs> Coming! <gasps> Mom! What are you doing here? 